so if you are not moving to South Africa you get beautiful people What's up guys thank you so much for coming through to watch this video never mind the actual visuals that you are seeing they don't provide any audio this because my editing software decided not to export the audio but uh, um, I had posted this video thinking it was all okay but I came around and take it down after you guys complained that there is no sound so instead of just dumping it in the dumping site, <laughs> I, feel, I actually thought maybe I should just do a voiceover and give you all the details of um, what the video is all about. Uh, we are in the mist stream. I announced uh, last time that I want to do mist stream series. And this is actually the first video that I did about the mist stream. And it is inside the Midlands estate. I told you guys that uh, there are many estates which are part of the greater midstream estate which are all premium estates and prestigious and also some of the most expensive homes around in Pretoria. So if I have to read something that I wrote for you guys the Midlands Estate is a prestigious residential estate located in Pretoria, South Africa. It is nestled in the scenic and serene countryside. It offers a secure and luxurious living environment for its residents. The estate boosts a range of amenities including beautiful landscape gardens, parks and walking trails in some main roads, providing an ideal setting for outdoor activities and relaxation. The Midland Estate is serene own for its top-notch security measures, uh, ensuring the safety and peace of mind of its residents. Access to the estate is strictly controlled by 24-hour security. There are actually 24-hour manned security patrols, uh, surveillance cameras, and electric fencing all combined together to secure the living environment. So, yeah, this is South Africa, you guys. And talking about South Africa, this is the actual place where you will definitely want to move to if you are coming outside the country let's say you are moving from the UK and we have actually uh, realized a number of Americans black Americans are coming back and they are looking to settle in Africa and if you are looking at South Africa this is for you this is just for you guys don't look nowhere else but if you look in anywhere else try to look for any sort of uh, estate that is more of the standards of this uh, kind of midland estate because you gonna need the security and this one is offering you the best that you can have around the midland estate uh, featured a variety of architectural stunning homes which we are going to see right in this video ranging from spacious family houses 
to stylish townhouses. These properties offer modern designs, high quality finishes and ample living space. Residents also have access to a range of communal facilities including swimming pool. There is actually a spot swimming pool in the Midlands estate. If you want me to do it you guys let me know. Just drop the comment in the uh, uh, comment section and we will attend to it. There is actually a, a tennis court and clubhouses fostering a sense of community and promoting an active lifestyle. So it's actually uh, a beautiful environment and I'm not so sure about other estates within the Greater Midstream, but I know that also the Midlands estate has a retirement area for old age. You know, if you want to retire, like that area, it's a mini kind of like piece of the Midlands estate inside where there is a gate and if you go through there you will definitely be going to the uh, uh, old age homes that's a retirement facility uh, convenience is another highlight of the midlands estate uh, with various amenities located within or in close proximity to the estate this includes schools, shopping centers, medical facilities and recreational options and providing residents with easy access to, a, uh, to essential services and entertainment. So uh, talking about schools, let me just clarify on this one. In Midland there's a number of schools you guys. They are actually uh, primary schools, you do have colleges, you also have um, uh, different you know and it's not only one like there is uh, the mid uh, midstream college mid scream midstream uh, uh, primary school there is also the uh, rich college and rich all you know so it's plenty of them and talking about the the recreational kind they are actually a shopping complex where there are many of restaurants such as uh, Mag and Bean and all these fancy restaurants that you will definitely really enjoy. And you know, uh, the, the, the thing that I did not mention here, there's also a, a spot kind like, um, you know, this karate and boxing area, cycling, man, Midlands, oh, let me just say the greater midstream is the perfect place for you to go. You actually get in the midstream and get lost and you know that's why somewhere here when I was writing and I, I realized somewhere where it says uh, it's kind of an escape from the busy city you really love it overall the Midlands estate in Pretoria stands as a sought-after residential community that combines elegant living natural beauty and excellent security it offers a tranquil escape this is what i was actually talking it offers a tranquil escape from the city while providing residents with a range of modern amenities and a strong sense of community so it's you know most of the times when i make these videos people tend to ask me is it catered for white people or black people guys i do believe in 2023 people should start striving to living together let's stop thinking who is white and who is black i think this is my opinion i really respect yours but i think if i have to answer to that question this uh, community here is catered for everyone who uh, uh, have the standards of living here so you're gonna go through their website of which maybe i should put in the description of this video and you will see all the details of how if you want to move to Midlands instead or to Midstream the kind of things that you will have to uh, look at so you will look at you see the standards of these uh, houses it's a, everything is clean and because there is actually um, it's an estate that is managed by homeowners association so the people in here own houses so you buy a house it's yours but then 
there is the caretaker there is the management that makes sure that midstream uh resident uh, uh respect the norms of living in the estate the way the homeowners decided in the beginning how it should be so if your house is getting like um the paint is you know peeling off they will definitely advise you they will send you an email communication is so guaranteed you will get the community they communicate in time catered for you that no they actually found something very wrong to your house and you should be able to actually fix it they will advise you for several months before other measures are taken and these measures are not something any bad it's just for the good of the community there are a number of other things that you should look at is like you know uh, driving on this beautiful road it's actually for 30 kilometers per hour if you exceed that you will find the midstream own uh, traffic controllers that will give you a ticket that you will never forget so this is actually also for good uh, purposes because there are children in this estate and everybody is free to walk as they please so you will find children also riding their you know those scooters those noisy scooters <laughs> uh, on the road and you should be able to see that that's why they ask you not to drive fast but otherwise this is very convenient guys and uh, you would definitely love this estate if you are looking to move to somewhere very very good somewhere very um, you know modern and and eventually secured uh, environment so otherwise let me just point out as i said earlier the midstream is greater and i think it's a suburb it's a bigger suburb that has so many estates there is no house outside the estate so you will find everything is gated and by the way before you get into midstream fest on its own there is a 24 security gate as well so you will not be in the midstream without being recorded so there are cameras that are placed in different areas and out inside and outside just to make sure that the area is well secured not even once i've had there was some sort of robbery in midstream because even if it, the, the robbers try it they will never reach to the main road before they get caught so just to give you a sense of how beautiful and good this estate is guys thank you so much for watching this video i'm so sorry that the original audio is not there but i actually said most of the things that i, I said in the video and I just hope you enjoy it and if you do consider giving it a big thumbs up like the video guys show some love and if you have not subscribed consider subscribing because we keep growing we keep um, uh, making our videos better I think for those who have been with me they can see they can testify that from where we started we actually growing and good and good and good and you guys I've actually also got uh lucky like to cross borders and show you more videos from outside south africa and you know africa in general so i'm so happy to be the one leading taking you to these places with my cameras yes you guys please support by subscribing to the channel and yeah let's grow together may god bless you and you know what just drop anything in the comment section you, you think you think anything that we should perfect what the, what is the thing like, like any advice just drop it in the comment section and we'll attend to it thank you so much enjoy the video i'm just gonna put maybe some music you know guys yeah i'll go to the old time but i'm sorry uh we just have to you know some of you ask that you prefer me talking on the videos while we walk um, and I actually did that before I used to put some music all, all along and just mute the video audio 
but you guys want to hear the sound of the place and i really appreciate the the, the comment um I, I wish i can remember the name oh man i wish i can remember the name and call it to you guys but i read every every single comment that you do post down in the comment section and i replay and i reply to them as soon as i can so yeah let's enjoy the video and uh, let me know what you think uh, maybe before i go i will also tell you how do you buy the house or how do you buy a house in here unfortunately the stands are all full in the midlands estate and and every stand is actually built so there's no stand available but you can actually buy a house that has been built you can buy it from someone just really go to the real estate agencies the real estate like um uh, there's mid team there's also um real net and all this just make sure your keyword is midstream or midlands estate but also if you gain entry in here let's say you are visiting someone you can actually also have a walk and walk around and you'll see some of the houses that are on sale like i uh, during this walk we saw a little a few and i think you're gonna have to see them there are contact numbers there because there's a poster right in the in the front side of the, the house and then yeah you can then just call and inquire but let me say if you are inside here you can just walk around like i would say just walk around and you'll see some of the houses that are on sale and you can easily inquire because there will be contact details there and you can call and you know yeah ask them how much it costs <laughs> but also you can go to the midstream um, website which i said i will put it in the comment section in the in the description of this video the midstream estate will actually give you uh, a site of all the, 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 the properties that are available within their um their their, their whole greater midstream so uh enjoy and uh, the other thing i should say let me number a little bit uh, some of the the, the estate that i remember in midstream you have the greater midstream where it's all started and in there there are several gates next to each other these are actually smaller uh estate i've never been in there i just i'm just kind of like estimating <laughs> because i actually passed in the sea gate 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 and i'm like okay this is uh, these are not too many but anyways the there is the midlands estate which is this one that we are working in there is the meadows there is the midfield and then within the midfield there is a passage to go to the ascent to midstream the ascent to midstream is actually properties uh, i mean apartments i posted a video recently about the apartments in midstream if you are the guy who prefer to be up and to be on top or in the flat there are good flats like serious flats i haven't got any opportunities to actually go inside the flat but i did a video about the outside scape and you guys can actually see and have an idea of how it looks like but for what i had it's all luxurious to the best standard of the midstream uh, standard and then we do have the midstream ridge we also do have the new west of which will come after this video oh yeah it will come after this video it's actually an amazing uh, estate and i have a sense because i've been in i did a video in of which i'm going to post as i said i actually realize how much expensive houses can be so you do have houses ranging from six million anything below six million you won't get a house in there midstream height and you can go up until 26 million as for now 
so you don't know somebody might come up with a more expensive house and it can surpass the top now which is 26 million rand and yeah beside the midstream heights you also have more and more of those other mainstream estate that i told you about the gates because before when it started it used to be just gate 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 what what get what but now they are actually giving them names and more are coming you guys just make sure if you want a better place to live around pretoria and let's say i think you might have other places that are beautiful in Pretoria, but you might not get the perfect location such as the midstream one. Let me tell you why I think the midstream is well located. This estate is actually between uh, Pretoria center, I'm talking about the city center, and Midrand. Midrand is the first town you get to. It's actually in the middle between Pretoria and Johannesburg. By the way, Midrand is already in the, uh, the, the I don't know if it falls under the city of Joburg. Let me know you guys. But I always have, I, I always had an impression that Midrand is under Joburg. But I remember that it's in Ekuruleni municipality. Ekuruleni municipality. And let me tell you, some of these estates, like the Midlands estate, falls under a Kuru lane. You know how these things are. It's like it's, the Midlands estate is within the border between Tuane and a Kuru lane. So, yeah. If I had to say it, just that's how it is. Let me say you the other thing. So, when you talk about how uh, it is, where it's, it's located between Midland and Pretoria, You'd ne you definitely see the main highway in South Africa. That is the N1 and the N14 from Pretoria to Johannesburg. It's the best. So you have easy access to Pretoria. You also have easy access to Johannesburg without hassle. And then it's also parallel to R21. You, you see, you guys, it's just a perfect location. And the, it is also it has a shortcut so for you if you are going to northwest let me say you're going to Rustenburg you don't have to go via Pretoria and cross you can actually just go straight from mid-range midstream you take N14 as if you are going to um, Randberg and then you get a, a, a short right you proceed and within a few minutes you are in northwest province so it is very convenient very easy access as i said it's parallel to r21 access to the main international airport man this is just so great and remember lanseria is also located within the midland area so man it's just a perfect location in this stream and uh, your nearest town is centurion if you want to go to the mall you will go to centurion mall and if you don't want to go to Centurion Mall, you can go to Boulders. You can also go to the Mall of Africa. Within just a matter of minutes, like about 10 minutes, you'll be at Mall of Africa. So, uh, guys, it's an amazing area. I do love the far east of Pretoria. Like if you're going to the, 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 the Moy, what is it, Moy? Uh, there's a golf estate over that side. If you go to to that area, yeah, um, uh, I'm talking about the main lane and and those area. Uh, hey Amen. I forget the name sometimes, but those areas are more like far, far, far. They don't give you the perfect location like the midstream. I'm just that's my opinion. And if you do have any other opinion, if you want to counter mine you feel free and just drop it in the comment se section and let's discuss it but otherwise these are the houses that you really will love and let me talk about the range the price range unlike the midstream height 
in Midlands estate you can still have a house for two million two million rand and above so I want limits maybe you will have a house more than 20 million there are bigger houses here you guys but you won't know necessarily um, unless you go and check uh, in the gazette of the houses that are available but anyways thank you so much and have uh, more of the tour I hope you enjoy it and if you do remember to give this video a big thumbs up and uh, yeah let's comment let's talk about it what do you think about the Midlands estate so there is another part two of uh, this video that I've already posted unfortunately because I had to take this down when I realized it didn't have audio uh, you can go and check it out Midlands is actually bigger and for as much as I remember, uh, uh, I think it's about 500 houses that are in this mini estate of the greater midstream. And uh, it's one of the biggest, I think. I think it's one of the biggest because um, uh, if you check the middles is actually a small one and this other one the new one the height is also very small height has got actually 250 houses so yeah it's a limited area you guys if you really have the mula the money and you want the security you want all these standards i read you earlier consider checking this estate because you won't be disappointed um yeah anything else let me know in the comment section and yeah drop your questions and guys yeah 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 yeah. let me get this opportunity to remind you i said earlier once i reach 10,000 subscribers i will go live man i won't go live unless it's an emergency until we reach 10,000 subscribers and we are almost there by the way thank you so much for 8,000 subscribers and uh this man is just grace it's all you it's all you guys who have been supporting me and subscribing and sharing my videos i want to thank you so much and i believe we can grow even bigger and bigger because from where we started man i didn't think like i i didn't believe one day we'll reach to this but yeah because you wanted it happen you kept subscribing uh, you subscribe and then you ask other friends to subscribe you ask people to subscribe you send videos to families and all that it made a difference thank you so much you guys and uh, i guess from me to you we will see in the next one the next one is exciting so stay tuned and if you have not subscribed consider subscribing and when you subscribe don't forget to tick that uh, notification bell like so you can get notified every single time we do post a new video because you know sometimes you watch i know you guys you watch so many videos youtube has got so many 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 videos that uh, i mean channels that you can watch from but if you have subscribed then when i post you will be notified that i just posted a new video and you won't be able to miss it so you will actually get it on time otherwise yes you guys i'm back in south africa and here are the videos so enjoy <laughs> all right bye